Hi, I'm Glenn. Today we're using the splat to draw geometry nets of a cube. I'm going to show you two ways to draw a net of a cube, but I bet you could come up with lots on your own. Let's get started. There's three steps for drawing a cube using the splat. One, two, and the far edges, three. Great. Now I'm looking at two points. I'm using this edge of the splat to extend a line out. Notice I keep the splat straight up and down when doing most of the drawing. That means I'm drawing isometric lines. You could think about it now as having folded one side of the box down flat. If I draw a line there, imagine looking inside the box I've shaded one side. Okay, back to the cube. I'm now going to fold out one more side of the cube. Did you notice that all of the drawing we're doing today uses one of just three lines, the left splat, the right splat, or vertical? Now we've folded down two sides. Let's have a go at the back. It could be tricky because we're not going to get to see all of the sides. Some of it's hidden behind the cube. Same with the other side. Could you work out how to draw it? Awesome. Now, how about the top? It can't get left behind. It has to be attached to something. When that side folds down, it's going to take the top with it into that position. Now I'm drawing the top still attached to the side when the side's folded down. So it's coming straight up in the air. The last step is to fold down the top. Let's erase those lines. Here part of the cube that we started with has been shaded. Now I've removed the cube and I'm tidying up the drawing using a ruler. Can we draw a net in a different pattern? Sure can. Let's get started by drawing the base. We know it's going to be a square base. Boom, we've got that one drawn. Now the next one. Where will it connect to? Where will that line be? I'm going to choose that one to extend. So using the splat angles, the isometric angles, I've now drawn my second square. Now I'm continuing in exactly the same way up the page until I have four squares long. Drawing in 3D or isometric does seem a little weird at first, but with a little practice, you'll be amazed how quickly you pick it up. Here I'm thinking about which edge I'll use to attach the next square. Will it be the left or the right? If you said left, spot on. Again, use the splat to draw those four lines and we have one more to go. Where will I attach that one? Can you imagine that line? Will it be there or there or even there? If you said there, write again, because that's along the long edge. Line up the corner of the splat and come down and around. Spin and just one more line to draw this time, because the other one's already there. This is where we use the ruler to tidy up the outline. The darkest line should be the very outline, and the fold lines are thin. These dashed lines show how uh, the path of travel if this cube were lifted straight up in the air. Thank you so much for joining in and I hope you got something out of it and that you practice drawing some nets. Maths is fun. Bye now.